everyone what's up welcome back to my channel thanks so much for coming back i am going to be sharing today with you guys my top secrets for growing your hair i feel like i finally figured out what it is and it's a little bit repetitive from what i was saying in my last video how to get healthy thick hair some of the things but I feel like right now I can actually pinpoint the things that I've been doing and the things that I've been using that have really helped my hair grow. A lot of people have been asking me on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so right now. I'll leave it right down here. A lot of people ask me so many questions on my hair is so fine, my hair is falling out, my hair is thinning, I my hair is like chunks of it are coming out those types of issues you want to definitely talk to your doctor no product is really going to help with that a lot of the times those issues come from either stress from your hormones from you know your genetics sometimes it can be based on like your thyroid so it's more of a health problem rather than you know like a product that you're using or a product can fix it sometimes you need to get in touch with your doctor talk about it explain it especially if your hair is falling out excessively now on the average we lose about maybe a hundred hairs a day so if it's more than that or you're seeing bald spots or thinning hair definitely check out a doctor and get a professional's point of view so let's get started and I'm gonna start out with the biggest secret and I don't believe that people realize you hear it all the time if you want to have long hair you got to get monthly trims wrong do not cut your hair don't cut your hair don't touch your hair that's how it's gonna grow so that being said why they say to cut your ends off or to cut the split ends of course you want to cut off your split ends but a way to do that is by twisting your hair around just like this and whatever is sticking out usually when you twist your hair like this the split ends will stick out what you want to do is you get a scissor and just literally cut off those split ends and you know you're not gonna get them all in one day but it's it's cool to just kind of snip them off instead of getting a whole haircut now, a lot of people say that, you know, your hair grows when you get your hair cut. It doesn't. Your hair grows from your scalp. It doesn't grow from the bottom. So to get your hair to grow, you need to treat the scalp because that's where the hair is alive. It's where it's healthy. It's where it's growing. That's where the hair follicles are. Your hair follicles aren't at the bottom. But why they say to trim it and trim your ends is because obviously split ends will have your hair looking janky and frizzy and dry and you obviously don't want that. So cutting off the split ends will give the appearance of healthy hair because it's cutting the dry ends out however it's not gonna make your hair grow so that's just one myth that i kind of want to bust that brings me to my next point which is you need to use minimal heat minimal to like no heat for you know the amount of time however long you need to for your hair to grow to your desired length. Don't use heat. I probably do my hair maybe, recently I've been doing it a little bit more straight, um, but usually my hair is curly, I like it curly. I find that when I do it curly, like it grows because I guess, you know, when you straighten it after a long time of having it curly, it just looks longer. Avoiding the heat on it, it avoids the breakage, it avoids me getting split ends, and um, my hair just always looks healthy. It always looks shiny because I don't have those split ends. Like straighten your hair maybe once every two weeks. And while your hair is straight to keep it that way, some dry shampoo in your hair. Sleep with like a satin kind of wrap on your hair so your hair doesn't get frizzy. Don't wash it, just dry shampoo it until you can't do it anymore. Some people can't do that because their hair is very oily. Which is where the dry shampoo will come in but you know people some people have issues so i would say try to 
you know go natural with your hair as much as possible and as much as you can something else that's also extremely important is going sulfate and silicone free so the shampoo and conditioner that I'm currently using is the Briogeo Curl Charisma. That's because I have curly hair. But any type of shampoo and conditioner that does not have sulfates, does not have like sodium lauryl sulfates, SLS, or dimethicone in it, any type of any type of anything that says cone, and usually the cones and um, silicones are in conditioners that's that's the reason why your hair is silky smooth because of the dimethicone so basically dimethicone is a silicone cone 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 what the silicone does is it coats your hair with somewhat of a let's say plastic so what it's doing is it's coating your hair trapping everything in your hair trapping the moisture in your hair which it seems good but at the same time, it's literally suffocating your hair, <laughs> which you don't want because you want your hair to breathe. You want it to be healthy. You want it to like, you know, live and what you're doing is suffocating it. And a lot of people don't just use conditioner from here down. They use it from the top. So that's why the top of your head will have a lot of buildup. You want to avoid the sulfates in your shampoos. And please also note, some companies think they're like marketing a shampoo as silicone free. All shampoos are silicone free. What you want to look for is silicone free in a conditioner. So don't be fooled by companies that market and put on their shampoos silicone free. That's literally just words because all shampoos are silicone free. What you need to look out for in shampoos is sulfates. So the sulfates are like detergents basically. It's like soap. So what it's going to do, it's going to get the dirt and grime and oil and everything out of your hair. But it's getting everything out of your hair. Even the good oils, even everything. So after a while of using it and this is why girls that have curlier hair don't use it is because it dries the heck out of your hair so with curls your curls are frizzier so that's why curly girls are very like against sulfates and silicones because silicones weigh the hair down and then the sulfates dry up your hair so in general with anybody whether you have curly hair or not it's so much more healthier to go sulfate free and I do want to mention that when you make the transition your hair is gonna be kind of wonky for like maybe the first week or two but it gets better trust it gets better I know that it seems very simple and very like easy and and it's it's very difficult for people because sulfates and silicones are literally in everything and it's because it's an affordable ingredient that companies are able to just kind of throw in and make this this product. Invest the time to research it. Invest the extra couple dollars, literally a couple of dollars, and your hair will look so much more healthier. And if you think about it, you buy oils, you buy all these different, different things to put in your hair to get that shine. When you can literally get it from your shampoo and conditioner by, you know, taking care of your hair and treating it right just naturally shine it's it's a lot of patience a lot of commitment and so, not a lot of sacrifices but it's it's you know dedication you need One last thing i would say that will help to grow your hair are deep conditioners of course sulfate free they really really stimulate the scalp they hydrate the scalp they add a lot of goodness and nourishment back into the hair again you want to take care of it you want to give it good things you want to like love it and treat it right that's definitely something that's very important is stimulating the scalp now one of the main products I, i'm not talking a lot about products but one of the main products that i do want to mention because i feel like everybody needs it is the cantu apple cider vinegar rinse now 
you don't have to go out and buy this specific product although i i would recommend it it has um, tea tree oil in it it has apple cider vinegar you can actually make this at home by yourself or there are tons of different other brands that have apple cider vinegar rinses you can definitely youtube it i i may or may not make a video but i feel like there's so many out there you can actually just youtube it and see how to make it this one product i genuinely like it's so easy to use you can just go buy you don't have to like make anything if you don't want to it's the can to apple cider vinegar rinse I love this product. I go ahead and I shampoo my hair and then afterwards I squeeze it out and then I'll put my head down and I'll just pour the apple cider vinegar. It has like a little spout. I wish I had the bottle. I'll put a picture right here. Um, but it has a little spout that you can just kind of like drag through your hair so it gets evenly distributed. And I rub it in. I massage it. I give it like a good minute massage because again, you want to see stimulate the scalp you want to wake it up you want to get all the dead cells and dead everything away from the scalp it will give it a nice breathing space you your your follicles will get air it'll it'll be able to breathe basically and then in turn grow um, you um, can literally feel your scalp like like pulsating and being cleaned and that's one of the reasons why i love the product because of that tingling feeling and then afterwards i'll just go ahead and condition the bottoms of my hair I i'll leave it in for like about five minutes while i wash my body and then i'll wash it out um and then i'll follow up with the ends with a deep conditioner i use the briogeo brand i love that brand um it's a bit expensive but i definitely would recommend it but again, anything that you can find sulfate and silicone free. Maui has a good silicone line. Um, L'Oreal has a silicone line. But L'Oreal, I'm, I'm kind of iffy about. I, I know they are, their stuff is silicone free. But L'Oreal's a tricky brand. Um, they be saying things, but it don't be true <laughs> sometimes. But definitely, definitely go ahead and research the products. You can also get plain apple cider vinegar. Put it in a little spray bottle and use it in the exact same way in the shower. And it's the same thing with rice water. What rice water is basically is just giving you all your nutrients back into the scalp. You leave it on for about an hour um, and all the protein and ingredients and vitamins get into the scalp. It's all about the scalp. To grow your hair so as much as you can take care of it and stimulate it and massage it the better those are all of my tips to growing your hair longer and um, stronger and healthier I would absolutely absolutely say check out Cantu Beauty um, you can find if you can't find it in your local drugstore go ahead and find it on Amazon or you know target.com walmart whatever it is they are that brand is very very good and especially if you have curly hair too they have a wide range of curly girl products so yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you very much and i hope you guys check out my instagram page um my instagram is at reese babe and i also have my beauty page reese mua and yeah i will talk to you guys in another video See you later.